Hello, YouTube. I'm Dr. Fox. I'm gonna talk about female sterilization today. So, first of all, what is female sterilization or tubal sterilization? It's an operation to cut or block the fallopian tubes to permanently prevent a woman getting pregnant. So, it's like a lifelong contraceptive. It's carried out in hospital under either general or local anesthetic. So how does it work? Your fallopian tubes link your ovaries to your arm. If they are blocked or cut, you continue to ovulate, but your eggs cannot travel down to the womb, so they will never meet sperm. Instead, they are absorbed naturally into your body. So what's the advantages of female sterilization? It's an extremely effective contraceptive method. You have less than 1% chance of getting pregnant if you are sterilized, starting from your next period and continuing for the rest of your life. So you don't have to worry about contraception before or during sex, and it doesn't have any impact on your hormones or sex drive. It will still have periods after the operation. Okay, then, are there any disadvantages? There are three things you should think about. First, if you change your mind about not wanting more children, you may not be able to reverse the operation. Even if you try to have it reversed, you will probably have to pay for it yourself as hospitals usually doesn't pay for this sort of procedure. Secondly, if you're in the 1% of cases in which the fallopian tubes rejoin and you get pregnant again, you have a higher risk of an ectopic pregnancy. And thirdly, it doesn't give you any protection against sexually transmitted infections or STIs, so you may have to use condoms as well. Okay, you may worry that there are any risks to the operation. There is a very small risk of complications such as infection, internal bleeding, and damage to other organs, as well as the usual small risks of having an anesthetic. Okay then, who can have rasterization? Medically speaking, almost any woman can have the operation. The important thing is that you are absolutely sure you do not want any more children because you probably won't be able to reverse the operation once it's done. Doctors can sometimes refuse to carry out the operation if they think the woman has made her decision for the wrong reasons or have been pressurized into asking for it. The decision to be sterilized has very important consequences, so you should not make it if you feel stressed. For example, if you are splitting up with your partner and you must not be pressurized by anyone else. This is for you to decide. Okay, question. What is post-term sterilization? Post-term means after the birth, so a post-term sterilization is performed just after your baby is born, usually within the first few hours. If you have a C-section, the operation is done through the same cut in your abdomen. If you have a vaginal delivery, the surgeon will make a small cut in your abdomen, bring the fallopian tubes into the open, then remove them or cut and close them. Alternatively, you may have a tubal occlusion, which means a tiny barrier in is inserted into each of the tubes. Then the cut is stitched up and bandaged. You may wonder if post-term sterilization have any side effects. You may feel side effects from the anesthetic such as a sore throat if a breathing tube was used, and your abdomen may be sore. Other possible side effects are dizziness, nausea, shoulder pain, tummy cramps, and feeling bloated, but none of these are common. As with any other operation, if the pain does not go away after a few hours or you develop a temperature, get in touch with your doctor straight away. Okay, last question would be, how soon can you have sex after being sterilized? As soon as you feel comfortable. You will find that as soon as the effect of the anesthetic and the operation wear off, the operation has made no difference to your sex drive. If you had a tubal occlusion, you need to use some other form of contraception until you have your first period, as you can still get pregnant until then. Thank you for watching. See you soon.